President Ronald Reagan once said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. That statement is more true now than ever before. Biblical principles are what produce freedom of society, but you won't have biblical principles in society in which you don't have citizens with a biblical worldview. The truth of the matter is most Americans don't have a biblical worldview, which means that they have to draw on or they've chosen to draw on other worldviews that are available to them. The further we move away from biblical principles, the further we move away from liberty and freedom. Remember um, in the Old Testament after the scripture had been hidden for so long and it was brought out and it was read yeah, before the people, right. the people wept with joy that's right. because there's freedom in the law. Right. I found over the years that uh, the only really reliable uh, matrix to reality is the biblical blueprint. We've relegated to say, look, Politics is dirty. That's what pastors say. Politics is dirty. I don't do I don't do politics. Well, the church is dirty. What's your point? There's so many people today that are uh, educated at institutions where they come out as secular humanists. Yeah. And so there's no fear of God. If you're a Christian, a person of faith, you must care about what's happening in our culture. You must get involved in voting. No, the Constitution is so unique. It is the only constitution that actually limits government. So in other words, if you put bad people into a broken structure, mm. you're gonna get bad results. If you have a bad system, you elect good people, they go into a bad system, you're still gonna get a bad result. And the founders knew this nation was already very diverse. And federalism allows that diversity to flourish. And you begin to love what God loves and hate what he hates in the scriptures because your heart is lining up with the heart of God because of the gospel. It is astounding to me how many people in America have been indoctrinated into a condition of complete ignorance. I think biblical citizenship as a Christian would be stewardship. That God has given us this republic to be stewards over. In terms of actually having a biblical perspective on things, even in terms of believing that the Bible is a trustworthy document to give them guidance for their future, most Americans are not in that place. As people are experiencing tyranny, we, they're asking why, what has happened, and there's just this feeling of being lost right now and not knowing where to turn. And you just gave us the foundation. This is truth. 